Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go over SAOSP for the Nexus 6P. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they don't make this for any other device but the Nexus 6. Uh, and uh, SAOSP stands for Simple AOSP. Um, I've actually seen it on the thread a couple of times. Uh, and I kind of pass it over because this is one of those very, very simple, plain ROMs uh, that's built more for, um, you know, uh, a daily driver for you to depend on you know that's going to work over and over and over uh, and it does um, everything works on it everything works great uh, quickly I will go home and let me uh, pull up the camera of course everything's probably not going to work now that I'm recording because uh, I did have some problems with um, with the screen record app as you guys can see it takes pictures very well um, I'm not going to take video because I know that if I try to take video while I'm recording, I'm going to end up with a uh, with a fault, uh, and it's going to stop the video. But everything works. Um, I did play several calls on it, uh, even though you didn't see the data signal up top because I'm running with my Nexus 6 right now. Um, the uh, uh, the data works great on it. Wi-Fi works. Bluetooth works. Um, let's go ahead and get into the about phone. Uh, this is uh, SAOS. AOSP, sorry about that. This is S AOSP for the Nexus 6P, uh, Android version 7.1.1. It's got the uh, February 5th security patch in it. I, again, guys, I'm running Flash Kernel only because I don't know what ROMs force encrypt and what ROMs don't anymore. Normally, AOSP ROMs don't force encrypt, but you don't know. I mean, you, you just can't tell. So when I flash a ROM, I flashed a ROM. I flashed the FED patch, which stands for Forced Encryption Disabler patch. Uh, then I flash my G apps. Then I'll flash a custom kernel of choice. Make sure the kernel says does not force encrypt. And then boot your system. Uh, it's running great. Um, again, I'm not having any issues with it. Um, build tweaks. This is going to be where you find all the custom features in it that it does have. Uh, battery icon options. These are your options for that. Uh, it doesn't come with the big circle, but it does have the full circle option if you want to use it. Uh, three minute mod is not working on this. And by the way, guys, there are ROMs coming out now that the three minute mod is working with. Uh, I've found a lot of them. Uh, uh, Validus is another uh, one of the ROMs that uh, three minute mods working. Six ROM, three minute mods working right out of the gate. Um, and then you have your battery percentage. Uh, clock and date quickly uh, these are your basic settings for your clock and date no color options no uh, changing the uh, size options on it uh, brightness control notification count double tap to sleep uh, it does have the heads up notification under the custom settings uh, you can you guys can set it up like that if you want I don't run with the heads up uh, and then all the way at the bottom is going to be your uh, traffic no uh, your traffic notification or network traffic basically shows incoming outgoing um, you can set it up however you want uh, if you want to see data coming in going out um, I actually uh, only run it if I can have it colored uh, I'm gonna swipe to the right it's gonna bring up the navigation bar um, you do have your nav uh, dimensions it goes all the way up to 52 uh, DP which I am running right now and I, I that's one feature I do like uh, now, uh, your width of 42 dp is the max, and that's actually default, and I'm running uh, it at default. Uh, you do have the pixel nav uh, an animations, which they do work. Uh, you'll you'll see it throughout the video. Uh, double tap to sleep, one-handed mode. But, you know, basic um, custom features for the nav bars. Uh, the clear all button. Uh, they do give you the six position for that, and you can even shut it off if you don't want to run that fab button. And just use the built-in stock, uh, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I can't remember now. I think Google has it all the way at the top. Anyways, um, this is for you to run that custom uh, fab button at the bottom. See that one there? Um, normally, if you disable that, I'm going to see if I can. Uh, we're going to disable it quickly. I'm going to go back into here, and I think it's yeah, right there, all the way at the top, uh, top right. So. You have it there anyways, um, but they, they actually have it to where you can change it to wherever you want. And I actually like to run it that way. We're going to swipe to the right. It's going to bring up the notification drawer. Uh, brightness slider, vibration on touch. 
uh, advanced quick settings tile. Um, you do have the tile layout, and they do give you up to five rows, which is pretty cool. I haven't really set it up yet. Um, actually, columns. I don't want. I want three columns. Three columns, five rows, and I haven't set up uh, my custom or my uh, quick settings yet. Because uh, I'm probably not going to run this ROM. Um, I'm, I've just kept it on this device long enough to see how dependable it is. So, uh, And then you have your landscape mode. You can set it up in landscape mode. Uh, and the quick pull down. Oh, off, left, or right. You know, uh, If you guys want to set that up, it does work. Uh, off to right, it's a quick pull down. Off to left, notifications only. <laughs> yeah, off to the left, notifications only. So... Uh, we're going to slide to the right again. That brings up the lock screen. You have double tap, sleep anywhere, you know, touch, fingerprint, authent or authentication, uh, vibration. You have your uh, media cover art, uh, carrier label, lock screen shortcuts. Um, and they're basically the bottom lock screen, or lock screen shortcuts. Man, I can't talk tonight for some reason. Uh, the last, I think it's last, uh, is your volume rocker controls. Now, this is going to be where you can set up to skip ahead, you know, music controls, uh, stuff like that. Um, and I didn't even see a control for, um, yeah, anyways, uh, that is about it for the build tree or build tweaks, um, under display options, uh, basic display options here, uh, nothing that I'm not, uh, seeing that we don't see on all the other, uh, ROMs out there. Uh, they do have the three-finger shortcut underneath there, so if you guys want to have that, you know, there it is. Also, the screenshot, uh, crop and share, um, that is going to be where you can change it if you want to go with, uh, you know, the crop and share option as opposed to taking a full screen. Uh, under, the, under the sound, this is going to be for you to set up uh, basically all your sounds, notification, ringtones. Um, they don't. Uh, they do have the link, uh, link the uh, notification and volume, which again, I love that feature. Uh, I always run it with them separated because I like to have my ringtone up. I like to have my notifications down because I get a lot of notifications. Um, let's see, uh, default, yeah, it's it's pretty much basic. Um, this is going to be your other settings right here. And under security, these are your settings for security. Make sure you have that unknown sources turned on. Screen pinning is all the way at the bottom, and developer options are here. Uh, they do have the power menu in, in the developer options, and they have a lot of features in the power menu. Guys, you know I love this. There's nothing more than I, that I love better than a, a, a lot of, uh, of options to choose from in the power menu. I use my power menu a lot, guys. You have no clue. Uh, they do have restart system UI, which, again, I think this is an option that should be in every single ROM out there. I like that as well. Um, I can't think of anything else in here that's different. Uh, I thought they had their, um, uh, their animation set up a little bit weird, uh, but they didn't. Uh, I went back through and, and uh, reflashed this because I wanted to make sure I, I was correct on this. They're all set up at uh, 1.0. So, again, but they're sliders. So, in order for you to change that and get it perfect, it's hard to do. Um, but that's, uh, I like to run it uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5, you know, all three of them. Or sometimes uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then 1.0. Uh, it just depends on what ROM I'm running, what I'm doing. Uh, the Kill App Back button is included with this. It's all the way at the bottom. And they do have the uh, uh, delay uh, below that where you can actually um, set it up. Uh, for however long you want to hold the button down for it to uh, uh, kill that app, just in case um, it's you're inadvertently killing apps by just hitting the back button. Uh, that is about it. I know I'm running a standard super user uh, version 279SR3, uh, and I think I flashed that. Yes, I did. I flashed that myself, so I'm not sure what comes with it. Uh, I recommend going with either Magisk or the SR3, you know, I mean, I, I guess either or, pick your poison, uh, it all depends on what you like. Uh, it seems to be SR3, for some reason, is working a lot better with some of the apps that I have, that I have, I've had issues with on uh, SR1 and SR2, 
So good on them for that. It uh, seems like they're picking up um, and they're starting to hook into some uh, apps that were refusing it before. So cool. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, it. This is the way it comes as flashed. I know you guys don't like to see the, you know, all that. Uh, but I will tell you this right now, uh, underneath Substratum, it is legacy mode. So if you are like me and like at least OMS, I'd rather have CMTE, but that is gone forever, guys. Um, anyways, this comes with legacy mode. That means you're going to reboot. Uh, I know some of you out there like that. Um, you know, And, and I, I highly recommend, even on an OMS, or OMS, that after you get your ROM or your theme set up the way you like it, you should reboot it anyways. It just sets everything up. Um, some things don't hook properly. And you do that reboot and everything just kind of just, you know, ties itself right in. So I do recommend you guys do a reboot. Um, but what I don't like about legacy mode is there are a lot of apps that won't even uh, show up. And see, this isn't even shown legacy, which is weird because when I installed a theme or tried to, it wanted to, it automatically rebooted. So maybe it was something with Substratum. Uh, I don't know. Um... You know what? Let's try to put a ROM on it, or let's try to put a theme on it and see if it forces now. Because I did update my Substratum. It might have been something with Substratum, so it may not be Legacy anymore. Because what really gets me is this app right here, or this theme right here, Subfonts, was not showing before. If you don't have, uh, if, if, you, if you're running in, say, uh, Legacy mode, this theme won't even show up. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick theme, and I, I want one that just themes the whole thing quickly without, you know, having to pick options. So we're just going to go with uh, neon colors, uh, and I just want to see whether it's going to, uh, to have a reboot or not. And guys, uh, if this kicks me off, uh, if it kicks the video off, we're just going to call it here. I want to thank all my subscribers, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you guys I'll see you on the next one because I'm not going to try to redo this because I'm having all kinds of issues with, um, uh, with this rom and the uh screen record app that i use uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just click them all i'm gonna click apply and i'm gonna pause this okay and i have to use this because i can't go into settings it automatically force closes so i'm gonna pause this but it may kill the video so again guys <laughs> th uh, uh, thanks to all my subscribers you guys rock uh, just in case i don't see when it's done